consistently does not meet those expectations. They know what they're supposed to do. There's no ambiguity there. Hi, my name is Devin. Today I own several multi-million dollar companies. We started with $5,000 in a credit card. I don't know the easy way, I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, welcome to the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast, where I give straightforward advice to fuel the entrepreneur in all of us. Today I wanna talk about when it's uh, appropriate to be professionally impatient. And uh, let me talk about that a little bit. So for myself, I'm a high energy person. Um, and, and I do think that that is a, I, I like that trait about myself. And I see a lot of people that are my peers out in, a, in the professional world that get a lot of stuff done. They have a high energy, they're, they have a high degree of urgency and they instill that in the teams that they lead. And I think that generally leads to high performing, high functioning teams. When you're, maybe you've been a part of that before when like everyone's very energetic, there's this real sense of urgency and stuff is just getting done. Now I will tell you, there's a flip side and I've, I've also been here in my life where, you know, this high energy, this urgency turns into chaos right? And that chaos is disorganized. It's not prioritized. You know, people are unclear, like, wait, am I supposed to do everything all at once? When's what's due first? What's due second? What's truly a priority around here? Right. And so high functioning teams take this urgency and they, they utilize it, they weaponize it. And it's everyone moving in the same direction, very fast. Uh, chaos is a lot different, right? Everyone's moving very fast, but in all kinds of different directions. Right. And so the question, is if you're high energy, you have a ton of urgency around your organization, when is it okay to professionally be impatient, right? Because Devin, I'm dealing with this situation, this situation, this situation, and they're all pissing me off, right? Every, I'm, I'm irritated about everything, right? And I would say, I, I know what people mean by that. I understand that. I think there are a few situations that are appropriate to be professionally impatient. I'm not saying this is the exclusive list, but I'm going to tell you, these are three things that generally set me off. Um, the first is when you have a professional within your organization that you have to tell someone more than once. And I'm not talking about, you know, they slipped up. They're normally great, right? I'm talking about, listen, this is a real professional. They're, they have a professional title. They're paid professionally. They have experience. You know, they're, they're not like, you know, some new kid out of college or the first job that they've ever had. Like you went, you hired a professional to do a professional job. And you're having to tell that professional more than one time. I'm going to doubt they're a professional, Professionals do not need to be told more than once. You may have people within your organization that, hey, you know what? You know, they're junior or, you know, considering their compensation package and where they're at in their own career. Hey, you know what? Maybe I do need to tell them two times, three times, right? Maybe even sometimes four times, right? But they're learning, they're growing. But the true professionals within your organization, you should tell one time. And I think it is absolutely more than appropriate to be professionally impatient with professionals who you have to tell things more than once. The second thing I would tell you is when you set clear expectations and timelines and those are not being met. So you can probably picture this happening. You have several people in your office. You're dealing with an issue. You're trying to achieve a goal. You set some expectations and some guidelines. And I'm, I'm, I want to be clear here. This is when everyone clearly knows what their responsibility is. There's no questions around how to do that. And when it's due right? And if you have someone within your organization that consistently does not meet those expectations, they know what they're supposed to do. There's no ambiguity there. They know cl very clearly what their job is and they know when it was due and when it was supposed to be done. And those <laughs> either they, d they just don't get it done or they don't meet the timelines. I believe it's your responsibility to be professionally impatient. The next thing I would tell you is that it's also a situ uh, when you have situations in your company that you have people that are disruptive or disrespectful or causing drama and angst and allowing making it so that other people can't do their job professionally or other people are uncomfortable. It absolutely becomes your responsibility to become professionally impatient and, and deal with those situations. Now, 
If your organization is chaotic and out of control, like we talked about two things, right? A sense of urgency is great. A sense of urgency when everyone knows when, what, what they're working on, where they're driving, what everyone's doing together. When you have, when your op- your company and your, uh, your organization is functioning well in that manner and you have these issues, you need to deal with them. Now I'm going to tell you, there is, like I said, this flip side and I've been here. Like I've run organizations. This is me. I'm, I'm speaking personally. I'm not accusing others. I've done this. And that's when everyone's running frantic with this sense of urgency, but no one's going in the same direction. You know, maybe you've changed, you know, the prerogative three or four different times. Maybe there's confusion. Maybe I'm, you, you personally are out of control and, and, and you're changing the plan every single day. Listen, you're going to have lots of situations, but the problem isn't the people. The problem is you. And I, I know this. I speak from personal, like uh, I speak this because I personally made these mistakes. And so bringing this degree of urgency and this impatience is wonderful. But again, only when everyone is going in the same direction. And so my challenge to you is first off, Make sure that your organization has a sense of urgency, but that sense of urgency needs to be clearly defined, prioritized, and everyone running in the same direction. And if that is true, then I think it's more than appropriate to deal with those other three situations that I described, which is one, when you set clear expectations and timelines and they're not being met, very appropriate for you to be professionally impatient. The second is when you have professionals that you have to tell more than once, very appropriate for you to be professionally impatient. And the third is when you have disruptive, disrespectful people that are throwing kinks in your organization and other people's ability to do their job well, very appropriate for you to be professionally impatient. I'm Devin, and this is the Whiteboard Entrepreneur Podcast. Apply this, and I know it'll help you.